In less than 24 hours, the country will choose a new president. Voters are choosing between former football star George Ware and current Vice President Joseph Pukai. Official campaigns closed on Sunday with both candidates promising economic revival and jobs creation. Ware won nearly 40 percent of votes in the first round, 10 more points ahead of his rival. A runoff was then declared after none of the candidates failed to win an outright majority. President Johnson Sirleaf is stepping down after a 12-year rule. Well, now let's get you the latest. And we're joined by CGTN's Robert Nagila, live in Liberia's capital, Monrovia. Robert, no campaigning today, and of course it's Christmas. What is the atmosphere like in the capital right now? A very good afternoon to you, Karen, and our viewers. Well, it's very, very quiet here in Monrovia. This is a city that's normally stuck in traffic, but um, most of the roads are practically empty. Very few cars on the roads at this particular moment. Now, uh, most of the people, or quite a number of people, are actually in church for Christmas services, after which uh, many of them will then go back home and uh, have a Christmas lunch with friends and family, uh, leading on to celebrations in the afternoon. One of the reasons why we've actually heard from a section of politicians urging uh, the citizens not to overindulge because of the elections tomorrow so that people can turn out for the elections. And this is one of the areas that we're going to be uh, keeping a cl close eye on because the first round of the elections, a huge, huge turnout. A lot of people came out this time around. Um, that's one of the things we're watching to see if the turnout will be as huge or as big as the first time around, Karen. And uh, Robert, both candidates are exuding confidence and have promised to address the problems facing Liberians. What are the main concerns for the citizens as they head for the runoff election? Absolutely, Karen. There's a lot of people that we've spoken to on the streets and the majority of them all say that, look, uh, they're tired of this uh, prolonged political process that would like it to be over and done with but at the same time they do understand the importance of what's happening here so uh, they say that um, while they understand that for them their focus is on what the next president of this country uh, will do for this country now we also had a chance to catch up with one of those candidates who is vying for the position of presidency that's the current vice president Joseph Bokai and um, we spoke to him yesterday yesterday and he basically said that um, they still have some concerns with the electoral commission and the way the election was conducted in the first time. They feel that those concerns have not been sufficiently addressed and they'll be keeping an eye out on the whole process and the way the electoral commission conducts that process tomorrow. This is what he had to say. Let's just have a listen. We're trying to find a way forward. We are not completely satisfied but we know that we can take some measures that will build our confidence to go into this election. That's what we are going to do. The people who did whatever they did, they know that we know now what happened and we're going to look out for it. So, Karen, clearly he is concerned about something. He would not go deep into exactly what he was concerned about. But you remember that first round um, where the, uh, the, the results ended up in the Supreme Court, uh, where there were allegations of fraud during that election, but they were subsequently thrown out by the Supreme Court and this new date, uh, December 26th, then set up. So we will be keeping a close eye on the conduct of the election process itself tomorrow, and uh, we will be bringing all the latest news from this side to all our viewers across the world. Karen? Okay, thank you very much for that.